Okay. Uh, now that I'm done having a panic attack... <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Heist. Uh, yeah, so, uh, the past two episodes of Dero Valley Career were filmed before I went home for the holidays. So it's been, you know, a solid two plus weeks since I've played the game. Um, and my power was over by the roundhouse, and I remembered not being able to service it the way I wanted. But I remembered that. But I thought I left the train pulled up all the way. And the train was back here, and I didn't have any of the job cards in my hands anymore. And I thought that something might have undone that, but thankfully, uh, they just stole all of my job cards and piled them up on the desk. So, uh, we'll, we'll double check the order of all those when we get there. Uh, that said, we do need to do a couple things. Uh, namely, I have to fix this again? Come on. Da -da -da -da. Reskin, pow. There we go. ES and DT, we're set there, uh, and I need to service this properly. You kind viewers told me all of the little things that I would need to know. MU service does work. Uh, I just forgot how to use it. <laughs> yes. All right. So we'll pull across and get in there. Uh, anyways, what's up, guys? This is Heist. And yes, Dear Old Valley Simulator playthrough. It's time for the biggin. Big train. Much slug. Much wow. Uh, we're gonna pull in and hopefully not go through the back roundhouse wall. Maybe. Maybe go through the back roundhouse wall. No, oh, that's fine. Okay. So we serviced this one. This one's all happy, but there's apparently a dial that you change somewhere to select which choo you to service. That one. Yes. Uh, this one... Okay, so that's, that's the slug. So the 80 is the other engine, right? Yes, okay. That's how you do that. Uh, the diesel's not plugged in. Well, we're gonna want sand because it is raining quite violently at the moment. Might as well get all the rest of the crap that we've broken taken care of. It's fine, and then Okay, I guess that's how that works. <laughs> it's like, this doesn't make any sense. But that's alright. Alright. Oh, look, and we barely have enough money. You love to see it. Alright, we're ready to rock. Have a nice day. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go get on our train, and then... Um, we'll try and turn in the jobs in a way that makes sense. And we'll figure that out. Get our lights set up. Get some wipage going. Yes. Excellent. It's going to be interesting to see. How many tons is this again? It's many tons. 99. So then that's like almost 400. Then that's almost 800. And so that's probably like 900 then. Plus that. That's like almost 1,400. Okay, like 1,700-ish tons. We probably don't need the second DE6 still. Allegedly, the one DE6 in the slug should be good, but... Something, something, something. I paid for the whole locomotive, so I'm gonna use the whole locomotive. It's fine. Alright, get past the switch here. slug to get past the switch somewhere in Nairsville. Slam the brake on. Kick that over. Alright, now we can run from this end. Oh, that's dynamic brakes, not the reverser. Ding dong. There we go. And now we'll not blow up all the hazmat. Okay, so I want to say... I have my steam notes still. I want to say that they were actually in order. So the 99 is the first consist, and then the 16, then the 73. So I had this almost exactly backwards. 99, 16, 73, and then 47, 336, 47, 336. I think 
that's how our cars are, are organized? I think. We'll find out. Might get a little interesting. At least we can tell what the first couple jobs are right away. We've blocked all the grade crossings in the harbor. I'm sure they, uh, they enjoyed that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All right. Pinch on some air. More than that. I want to hear the brakes doing things. There we go. Just sneak in for the hitch here. All right. That's probably pretty good speed. We'll grab our hook, our loop. Or link, whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's Scottish, apparently. Bang. Alright. Ktunk. Get that tightened up. Alright, now we'll charge up this mess, which Lord knows if it's charged or not. There's a brake. How many brakes are there? There's two brakes. And this is the 99. Yep, alright, so that's in the right spot. Okay, and then we got the 16. Okay. <laughs> and then, I mean, it does look like it's just an entire pile of uh, splody boys all the way back. To see if uh, we hear any melting brake shoes. 16, then 73. Okay, 16, then 73. And then the 47's black tank cars and more of the same tank cars. Uh, which it does not appear. That That is, um, no, we picked up some containers first. Okay, so the 3 and the 47 we gotta swap. So we go 3, then we go the 47, and then, then at the very end, there's three cute little cars back there. Yep, okay. So we turn those jobs in in order, and then we're gonna highball out of here. Oh god. This is a mess. This is a giant catastrophe of a mess of explosives. Um, it's fine. It'll be great. It'll be, it will be just fine. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, let's do it. Pow. 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 All right. Got it all. Time to highball. We got places to be. <laughs> The ES and DT does precision scheduled railroading. It's fine. Click, click. Notch 10, we die like men. Something like that. Uh, sand. Sand. There we go. Come on. Pull the amps. Somebody slipping? Somebody's still slipping. That's fine. Alright. I guess we'll, we'll notch for this train's, uh, uh, I'm not gonna say that word. It's fine. <laughs> okay, let's see. So what are we doing here? We got the 99 that's going to the food factory. It's gonna end up on the C6. And then we've got another track train for the food factory that's going on the C4. And it's explosive, that's fitting. And another one that's on the C6. And of course they're separated. Thanks game, thanks for that. Uh, we're stopping off at the goods factory along the way with the D6, and then also the D5, so that, that shouldn't be too bad, but we're running through somewhere on the steel mill. <laughs> it's on the A6! Why would you do this to me, dear old Valley? Ah! We took this job because it was going to be easy to just drop off. Well, guess not. Guess we're going to shove this whole pile of mess back. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going too fast. I think we're probably fine. There's a pile of tanks over there. Look at all those tanks. Yes. All right. One of these days we'll get back to military jobs, but we needed tonnage. So we had to have normal jobs for tonnage. I'm pretty sure this whole train can be doing 40 right now. It's, it's pretty likely, don't you think? And it doesn't seem to need the sand now that we're up to speed, so we'll just let it rock. 
Yeah, so we know how many tons it is, but how many meters is it? We calculated this already, probably. 54. So, like, 250. 500. 600. Uh, 760 ish? Uh, okay, like 810. 810 ish meters. That's a pretty solid amount of terrain. Not quite a kilometer, but. Those trains. Trains that long in this game, much like trains that long in real life, are just a pain in the butt. Although, actually, a kilometer is not very long in the US, but anyway. Details. <clears throat> so not long that we measure it in cheeseburgers instead. <laughs> oh no, I've accidentally started another argument about the merits of the metric system versus Imperial in the comments. Ah! It's fine. As we hit the hill here, we're really loading up. Shut up. Give it sand. We, we want to transition both directions. Transition uh, up and then at back out. That's wacky. The slug and the DE6 is supposed to be pretty good for a tonnage. I, I've heard legends based on the guides that it could do 2,000 tons. Maybe that's not out of the harbor. Maybe that's not uphill. And we do need the second DE6 because we are still slowing down and we have it almost wide open right now. All right, notch 10, we die like men. Now it's slipping. Oh no, the traction motor is getting hot. That's fine. We haven't spiced a DE6 in a minute. Pulling just a solid continuous 600 amps. It's still getting hot. This is the worst engine. Uh, the slug and combo behind us will be just fine. But it seems like the amps are coming down because we're gaining a little bit of speed, so it should be fine. Oh, we do need the sand though. <laughs> As we immediately lose load. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. I also wonder um, which exact prime mover these DE6s are supposed to have. Because almost every EMD I ran into uh, ran Redline at about 900 was the max RPM. They may have just picked something, called it a day, 960 or whatever that is. So, it's fine. But yeah, I mean, it, it, maybe it would crawl up the hill with just the slug and the other DE6. But we're, we wouldn't, would not have been making track speed, that's for sure. We're, we're not even really making track speed right now. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll just keep the, the hammer down. And we'll get there eventually. Oh, oh, we should leave this charging. Put it on the fridge. There we go. <laughs> Where's the back of the train? Anyone know? It's over there somewhere. Oh my goodness, the trucks are doing a jiggly wiggly. It's fine. Much train, much wow. Alright, do we have the high beams on? Low beams, high beams. I'm not sure why there's options for the two of those things, but anyway. Still making good time. <laughs> this is still train back there. It's fine. <laughs> what are we doing? Well, don't judge me, DE6. I'm doing what I want. I'm trying to see the, the back of my train. It's over there somewhere. I, I do not want to know how we're going to have to do the shove maneuver here. <clears throat> I should have brought a DE2 with me. Oh, we could do that. We could steal a DE2 from the uh, from the steel mill. Because there'll probably be one. And use that to ditch the cars rather than trying to shove this whole mess back. That might be wise. pretty good on the speed. Kick the sand off. Do 
doing more than 50, and most of my trains in probably a 40 kilometer an hour speed limit, so. That's plenty of spice. <laughs> yeah, we still got another 40 coming up here as we round the last bend here. But we've screamed around this 40 and gone pretty quick before, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. It's making some noises, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, well, happy, happy New Year, everybody! I guess this is the this is going to be the first video on the Heist channel of 2024, just because you know the New Year is uh, on a Monday when I'm filming this, uh, and today is uh, that that you're watching this is presumably Tuesday, depending on time zones. So, <clears throat> lots of lots of fun things coming up this year, I think, uh, for the channel and for everything. It's gonna be fun. I've got way too much travel planned already for the entire year, uh, and I'm already kind of overwhelmed by it, but it'll be fine. It's going to be fun. Not all of it's just for YouTube, so uh, it's going to be a good time. Definitely uh, excited to see what all comes up on that front, see where we can go record and all that jazz. <coughs> Come on, train! We're about to find our, our old missing tender friend, I think. Some more stranded forlorn on this piece of alignment. I think it's up there through that cut, right? Let's see. Dare we pull out the throttle a little bit more? I think we do. We've got six jobs to turn in, so. The rear of the train's probably clear of that 40. If the brake pipe dumps, we know what happened. Is here where the tender is? There is a tender that we've binned somewhere right around here. Maybe it's on this this bit. Unless it's despawned. I don't know. We saw it clearly going the other way, so it must be somewhere precariously silly. Oh goodness, yeah, we're really cooking now. Just shy of 70. What is our time bonus to the steel mill? 50 minutes? Even with trying to stuff this car, those cars back in, I think that's doable. The stuff that's going to goods factory is 59 minutes, which is not much more. So those might be a bit more dicey, we'll have to see. <coughs> and then the food factory stuff, 84 minutes. Oh, well, that's plenty. Do I get a gold star if I get all of the time bonuses? That'd be cool. Alright. Well, there's a 12 there, and as much as I'd love to be doing 12, uh, I've got the throttle on the ceiling, the back cab wall. We are doing 80-some. And uh, I know I can be doing that fast up here, but I don't I don't know just how much the rear of the train could be doing through those curves. So there's a 90. We're gonna shut her down. 90 is still faster, but we still have plenty of track to go ahead of us here. <clears throat> and it, it it is really a dismal. Uh, gray, awful, very Seattle day in Deer All Valley today, apparently. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna squeeze on a little dynamics. Which we have, what, 18 traction motors supplying dynamic braking right now, so should be pretty powerful, even in a low notch. There's a 7. Let's get a little more on the dynos. All right, not bad. We know that there's gonna be a six coming up for that switch, so I'm just gonna leave that right there. There's the six. Nice, easy rate of deceleration. No no beans, no sadness, no scariness. <laughs> Have we turned a new leaf in 2024? Uh, I doubt it, I doubt it. We'll still, we'll still play the games just the, uh, the same way. All right, we'll kick the dinos off, we hit 60. 
and we're just gonna rock and roll our way down through. <laughs> Are those steam engines still gonna be on the main at the steel mill? That's a problem for five minutes from, from now, Heist, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll find out. <laughs> right after these messages. All right. A6. Yeah. I really hate that they did that to me. I've got to drop off at the A yard. No one wants to go to the A yard at the steam mill. Steam mill? The steam mill! Steel mill. Yes. All right. Ooh, it's foggy. Okay, after the switch, we got a high speed limit, but uh, we're basically doing the speed limit that the rest of the train behind us can be doing, and we're gonna go downhill, and these DE6s are gonna try and drag me under like a boat anchor here, so. Give them a light amount of dynamic braking here. It seems to be holding it pretty nice. Couple notches clicked in. So we'll just let it do the thing. And then we'll figure out what the heck's going on up at the uh, the whole dealio here. We're set for switch. Phasers are set to stun. <laughs> We're ready for this. All right, there's the steam mill. In in the in the stee, in the flesh, in the steel. It's fine. And uh, yeah. Good God, get M.O.W. out here. That's squiggly right there. <laughs> Nobody likes squiggly tracks. Unless it's me laying the tracks. Someday. Someday we shall experience those things again. Okay. Line to the right. 60 to the right. Do we, do we steal a DE2 or do we shove? What do we do, viewers? Is it five, but I don't really believe that five. I'm just gonna leave the dinos where they're at. <clears throat> that was interesting. The, the rain is just making schmutz on the windshield and I had to wipe it off. It's not really making droplets. Okay, we're not lined straight through on the main. Now we are get through this squiggle. Uh, I don't see a steam engine stuck in the middle of the main line. Didn't we just, didn't we kick it down the rails though? Is that it up there or is that a bush? I guess we'll find out. Well, so the, to get to the A-yard, we gotta get the whole train past the, the lead switch there, right? And then we have to run back, set the switch, and either we bottle the air and kick the cars by running back to the head end again or we steal a DE2 and just bury it underneath the cars, whatever they have over there. Assuming it's going to be a DE2. I think we steal we steal a locomotive. I think that's the strategy right there. Okay. So I'm going to leave this like lightly in dynamic braking. Do I leave the head end or do we or do we worry about the steam engine being there? I don't, I don't know the answer. Because if I leave, I could wait till the train clears that switch and then dump the air from the back. Which is a strategy. It's one of my favorite strategies. Or I could look at the map and not know where I am. Right. That's, uh, yeah, I don't get to know where I am because I'm playing realism mode. Right. Single tier. Okay. Well, we're just passing this guy right here. We need to get there. We, uh, and these boxes are a kilometer? Or are they three by threes? I think they're three by threes. It's 15 kilometers the whole map, isn't it? Maybe it's 16. I don't know. I don't know. Well, either way, I'm gonna just put this puppy in like crazy dinos. Um, 
It doesn't seem like we're coming up on a surprise steam engine anywhere. Actually, I think we're probably far enough that I'm just gonna kick the dinos off and I'm just gonna set up a bunch of air. And now we're just gonna go run. We're gonna go run back to the steel mill. Oh God, I should just teleport. That is objectively the better choice. Objectively, fast travel, $160. Plus a loading screen. Oh my God. Please clear the, please told me you cleared the switch. Please tell me, how did we do that? How did we do that? Within a car to the switch? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I have too much power. My, my, the, the seat, or the, the butt in seat factor. Uh, I, I just knew. I just knew exactly where it needed to go. That is tremendous. Um, I could not do that again if I tried, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well now we're gonna go steal a locomotive, uh, grab the, the butt of that, and then we'll just go run it over to the A6, is it? Yeah, A6. What do we have? That's, is that an S282? No, we don't want to fire up a steam engine for this. Okay, thank God, this is DE2. It's like, it's three cars. I don't even have to leave it in notch eight for Connie. Although that one's ESNDT, but so is this. We are apparently just the ESNDT today in Deer Isle Valley, being blessed by all the skins. All right, we'll grab the DE2 from over here. Tunk, there we are. 37, it's not a good number anyway. 93, neither is that, it's fine. K-tunk, 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 k-shadunk. Okay, uh, go and crank that. Get on the table. And slam the brake on, do a spin. Whoa! Page up, page down key hack for the turntable is the, the best thing. Thank you so much, viewers, for teaching me how to properly play video games. <laughs> All right. We'll go bang into those cars, and then that, that A6 is not one of those, it's one of those. And then we can't teleport to the head end this time, unfortunately. So we'll just have to go do the thing. And there's the A6 right there. Okay, so we'll have to reline this switch as soon as we pass it. And then we'll just go bury this DE2 on the back side of it. Okay. That's lined there. And then that's the 7 for load unload, which we're not doing. And now we just couple to the hazmat firmly. Firmly grasp it! I mean, gently. You don't always have to couple hard. In fact, sometimes that's not right to do. <laughs> sometimes you got to make a hook. And uh, yeah, I can't, you can't even make that song clean. That song has too many dirty lyrics. We love Jack Black in this household, okay? I'm, I'm gonna have to do a, a, a dumb cover of that now. That's gonna have to happen. Bandan's already halfway done writing the lyrics for it too, after hearing that, I'm sure. <laughs> I think it was uh, Corey Gibson uh, the other week was chatting with me and uh, he wants me to do a cover of Elton John's Benny and the Jets, but it's Jimmy from the Cog. It's the same amount of syllables. That's a worthy, worthy, dumb uh, poop post, as it were. <laughs> Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy from the cock! Yeah, writes itself. <laughs> Two, the, 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 what, what did you do in 2024? Musical dumb things. Some music things happened, I hoped. Maybe this is the year that I will record uh, ACDC's TNT, but it's EMD instead. Turbo explodes! Guitar solo. 
It just writes itself. There's not a whole heck of a lot of room in this siding, I don't think. Set him up. Yeah, I think all three cars and the choo-choo buried will fit. Let's uh, get our EFCO. Boink. Anywhere in there is fine. All right, tie it down. And now we go run over to the office, breaking my F key once again in the new year. Okay, turn in the job, kapow. Look at that, 22 minutes, still have plenty of time. Made some dollary dues, 17 grand, that's it with the bonus. Okay, maybe that job was pointless to take extra work and it needed an extra locomotive and now I gotta run back to the head end forever. <laughs> At least when we go switching at the goods factory. Has this rolled down the hill further? No, I don't think so. At least when we go switching at the goods factory, um, it's a reverse loop. So like you're always never that far away from the head end. You don't end up doing this. We're doing the precision scheduled railroading uh, conductor position sadness at the moment. Oh, we'll just go over the hills and far away, and then we'll reach our power. That's the secret. <laughs> Come up with lyrics for that one. I can hear the sound of idling 645s. I think there's 645s. I didn't know earlier, but it's a video game. Does it matter? I hear diesel engines. Hey, there we are. Hello, train. How are you? It's been a minute. All right. Why did we leave it dumped? Nobody wants to wait for that to charge. Nobody including me. I got places to be. Pull through it. <laughs> Just watch those traction motors get roasted. And all of that for eight kilometers an hour. <laughs> Turns the sand on going downhill. Just rips the stick. Whee! We got places to be. Brake pipe's almost recharged. Okay, it's not too bad. Two DE6s pumping it up. Yeah, the main res is still. There we go. Hey, there it is. All right. Now we'll just start notching up on it. Notch 10, we die like men. There we go. All right, off to the goods factory. So, Steel Mill was here, we did the A-yard thing, shut down our choo-choo so it's not gonna just keep idling away and ruining our monies. Got a racetrack to run down, goods factory quick, dump in, zip back the other way, go through the spice, food factory, and that'll be that. Shouldn't be too bad. You know, the, the biggest challenge with running trains of this scale in realistic mode is not actually running the trains, it's just running around the train, being the conductor. Being the engineer is very easy. Stick to full, congratulations. Yeah. That kind of the slug is, uh... It's not a proper test of the slug using both engines, though, is it really? Well, if it was easier to switch it out so that we didn't have two, I would, but... It's, uh, it's not that easy, so... Anyway, we're just gonna keep going. Conductor side not have a light? Guess it is a single player game. There's no reason to be on this side of the cab. Look, my flashlight's charged. I'll even remember to grab it before we forget it somewhere and then it ends up in the lost and found. <laughs> okay. On the racetrack. Speed and power and beans. I've just got the throttle welded on the ceiling, basically. All the way open. Wide open. Doing the thing. Eighty? I think we can do eighty through here. 
Right? Right? Anyone see a speed sign? It's probably a good time to shut down. Uh oh. It's probably a good time to slam the dinos full. Cool. I think that's a 70 through there. Yeah, I made some weird scrapey, squealy, sad, scrapey, bad noises. I mean, we do have places to be, but we don't want our train to be uh, all of the places, you know what I mean? We are everywhere! Okay. Goods Factory is going to be the next switch off to the right. We're going to need to be doing 50 for that. Just keep the dinos on. Nice medium. Nice medium spice. Junction sign. 0.4 uh, kilometers. My brain just wants to say miles. But that is incorrect. Uh, are we already lined to the right? We are already lined to the right. How about that? Kick the dinos off. 50 to the right. 100 to the left. It's fine. Keep a light dinos on it. Yoink! Would not want to hit a switch like that. But it was fine. So, anyway. Uh, first, we gotta dump off the D5, then the D6. So if we're really cool, we'll just be able to kick him. Something tells me that we're not gonna be really cool, though. Something tells me that we're gonna have issues. <laughs> Running back and forth along the length of this train is uh, frustrating. So soon, soon though, we will we will pay our debt to Mr. John Doe, um, and then and then maybe we'll unlock the rest of the things and we can be done with the realistic playthrough, and then I can enjoy the quality of life that everyone else has been enjoying for the past I don't know what has it been seven months, eight months been such a long time yeah it's fine uh, legend is Khan wants to do some more race stuff too so don't worry I know people always ask why aren't you playing with Khan and uh, Khan had some personal stuff come up so he's been uh, busy taking care of some family things and all that and we will get back to playing train shenanigans together Sooner rather than later, I think. But this hill's pretty stout. Wasn't expecting to have to get this wide open. Barely holding speed with it. Notch 10. Alright. And there's the big bridge. So, slice through the tunnel. We'll come out and then we'll be getting ready to head out to the reverse loop here. And I think this train should fit in the reverse loop. I'm gonna shut it back to like a light throttle. Yeah, we don't want to go to the left, we want to go to the right so that we can just kick cars off. Because Dutch dropping with this much train would be impossible, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Looks like we are lined into the reverse loop. It's not like we ever go to the station for anything in this anyway. Um, though I did re-download the passenger jobs mod. Uh, so maybe we'll do some of that. I downloaded a couple more mods. I downloaded the, the Splody Boys again and, and the big Splody Boys. You know, they're supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. You know, it, sometimes you need a little chaos in your life. So, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. What are we doing? Like, two-thirds on everything. Cool. Uh, I think we can just let it idle. Just let that go do that. we got to wait till it clears the switch over there. Uh, what was it? D we checked this so many times already. D6 first, right? No, D5 first. All right, so D5 and D6 are both reversed into their sidings. Already lined into that. Already lined there. Okay, so we just gotta wait for the end of the train to clear this switch. Okay, bye train. We'll uh, we'll see the the rest of you shortly. 
And then what we'll do is we will... Do we bottle the air on both those cuts? I don't know if we bottle the air, because then it won't recharge if we stop it from the rear. We'd have to wait. Because we don't want the air to be, like, stuck applied if we're going to kick. Actually, I don't even know if we're going to have any luck kicking anyways. It's fine. God, this is a lot of sad gas. It's the, the, it's the I had a bad day gas based on the placards. We do fit in this, right? Like, we're not seeing a locomotive over there yet? Oh, good heavens. Uh. Um. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Yes, I can see the locomotive over there. We, we are the length of the reverse loop. Got it. Pretty much. Yeehaw. Yeah, wow, okay. Oh, what we could do is we could just do this, bottle it there, and then pop that air, and vent that that way. And then hope that it stop. Oh god, we still have five cars to the switch, though. Oh, crap. Yep. Okay, well, what was that we said about, hey, look, it's cool that we're on the reverse loop, so I'll just be able to go over there and go get my, my engines. Break the F key off real quick. We didn't plow into something inadvertently, did we? I assumed all the switches would be lined for the main. Seems like they are. All right, so I gotta pull ahead like another couple cars. Um, so we'll just, we'll just do that. Looks like the brake pipe just recharged, so. What are you... Who's mad about what? Oh, wheel slip. Oh. What wheel slip? Shush. Alright, that should be good. Go run over there, we'll go pop the air. Stop the train. Shove back through this giant pile. All right, looks like it's all in the clear at least. How in the clear is it? Very cool. 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 Line the switch. All right, running over here. Oh God, it's just gonna be over here, isn't it? The boat anchors have fallen off the cliff. All right, here we are. Choo. Dump that. That'll get that stopped. Uh, we'll even, what we'll do is We'll just kind of wait. And then, like, hope that that's recharged. Bottle it. Pop that brake. And then we can just bang. Can uncouple right here. That's charged. Okay. So we're lined for the one. We can kick the one now. Assuming that the brakes are not, like, hard on. Um, okay, that brake is still set. Those cars are going to be fine, but we have to bleed these ones. Go find all the gosh darn bleeder valves. I don't know where the... Oh, there it is. Okay. I hear car rolling sounds, and I'm worried that my train... The rest of my train has recovered its air and is now rolling down the hill by itself. Which is certainly possible. Okay, that... Uh, yes, th that's exactly what's happening. Get me to the head end, get me to the head end, get me to the head end. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Where are the engines? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
<laughs> hey, look, a slug. Okay. Uh, yes. Brakes. Dynamic brakes. Turn off the wipers. We don't need to melt the black goo on the windshield. There we go. And now we just kind of gently... We just leave a little, like, like the cutest little throttle on it. We just leave it in one. Is one enough? Okay, now that it's loading. All right, we're just gonna leave it in one, and then we'll just we'll just dump the air as needed to prevent spice. Anyone think this is a good idea? No, no one. That's what I thought. Welcome to the ESDT. We are teeing right now. We are teeing to thee. Okay. All right, this isn't spicy. This is fine. God, we, we, we rolled like six car lengths. All right, uh, so I don't even know if I wanna slow this down right now because we're doing like three or four. I kinda wanna just hit these. It should be fine. Okay, here we go. Here's the spice. Bang. Did that really just damage that car, or did we already damage that car? That's the question. <laughs> Does anyone know? Well, the car goes damaged. I seem to recall us dunking that one on the, the assembly. I think it was fine. Okay. And so our air is bottled separately, so we'll be able to dump the air to stop these cars. Um, got two cuts that are just rolling free. So we'll just let the train just kind of shove it in notch one. Hope that it doesn't take off like a rocket ship when it gets up the hill. Uh, we are now lined to the left. We're lined in to the D5, which I will uh, ADHD quadruple triple check. Uh, that's the 12th check. Yeah, to the five and then the six. So we need to line this switch between cuts, but we don't even really need to get the cuts separated. Um, we could just throw that switch right as the cuts of cars are rolling over it. And it should be fine, I think. It's not going too quick. It's not going too slow, but it's not going too quick either. And there's our cut boundary right there. And then here's where there's actually tied in. I'm not scared. Are you scared? I'm not scared. I ain't scared. Do we dump the air? It's, it's getting a little quick. I'm just gonna briefly, briefly let the air do the thing. Just pinch on a little break. There we go. Just so it doesn't go too quick. And I guess now the now we just go wait by the switch because the cuts have somehow separated. Interesting. We'll wait by the switch, dump the air on the train when we get to the to the thing. That's already lined into the six, so we just... Uh, hopefully those haven't dunked. Oh god, yeah, they have. They're closing the, the gap. Okay. <clears throat> ready, ready, ready. Oh god, they would couple back together right then. Throw the switch! Holy crap, got it. Break, 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 break. Breaks. Okay, I need you to stop adding speed, friend. I need you to stop adding speed. Nah. Okay, that's in the siding. 
Oh god, that's gonna be too short now, isn't it? Oh, it might work. I don't know if it's gonna take that or not. We will, uh, we'll just do that. Break is tied. We'll go turn in the, uh, we'll try and turn them both in. We'll see what it says. Worst case, we let the air recover on the big train. It's still in notch one in reverse. <laughs> so it'll, it'll just go push those some more. All right, that one's good. 42 minutes. Oh good, that's a good chunk of change right there. 90 grand, and that one, oh goodness, it did take it. Oh sweet, all right. High ball, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I was not sure it was gonna let me do that. Have you started put, okay, yes, now you've shown up. Very, very exciting. Okay, it was not a spicy dunk. We'll just let it do that. Where are my locomotives? Somewhere the hell over here. Kind of sounds like they're through those buildings. So much train. Oh god, they are through those buildings. <laughs> this train is still absurd. Okay. We gotta get to the food factory now. We've made the time bonus on half the jobs. I wanna get it for all of them. Notch 10, we die like men. Here we go. Pull all of the amps. It's fine. Spice them. Dial it back a little bit. There we go. Got places to be! Alright, C6, C4, and then C6, because the gods of Dural Valley hate us. I think we, sp we run through the C6, and we shove back onto the C4, and then and then we shove back onto the C6 again. I think that's probably the move. It's probably plenty of speed for those cars that are still probably careening around that reverse loop back there. It's fine. It's fine. How much train do we have still? Because it feels like a lot. 250 meters still on this one. That's the longest cut for sure. Then another 200 meters on the C4 cut. And then the C6 cut is just nothing. So yeah, we still have over half the train by length. So, I don't know, can we do it? It said 40 something minutes for the uh, the other jobs and we got like 80 minutes? It's not gonna take us another 40 minutes to get the food factory, I believe. 84 minutes to, come on, we got this. Notch 10, die like men, get us up to that 50 track speed. Shut her down. And we'll just let it roll. Now we'll bring on a little dinos. Just to confuse the couplers as much as we possibly can. Do you want me in tension or compression? Yes. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Get it figured out. All right, almost there. So let's see. We have to get down to the junction. Go right at the junction. Go left at the oil well. Skirt around the boys. Single tier. Run up this way. Go left at the spicy slow junction. Go through the squiggles, and then food factory. So it's not long to go, actually pretty close. Yeah, I mean, it, it, honestly, the, the distance between the goods factory and the main is only like half the distance left to the food factory when you look at the rest of the, the run on the main. Although those squiggles probably add a fair bit of distance that I'm not accounting for. Squiggly track. Yes. All right. Line it to the right. There we go. Oh, we could be doing 60 through there. Kick those dynamic brakes off. Let it roll. Yoink. All right. Let's see if we can hit 60. Not too much, too much fanfare here. And we are aligned to the left and we could be doing 70 for the switch and then it's a 60 again. Right, yeah, cool. We'll just leave it at the 60 here. 
needs plenty of speed. Still got plenty of train back there, presumably yoinking through that junction. And we'll just let it go. We'll just let it do the thing. Come on, train! Yes. Another 60. Leave it in notch two, basically. Just enough to put up with whatever uh, little rolling resistance we run into. The, the sun is setting on day shift, though I honestly wasn't sure what shift we were on to start the shift, because it was very Seattle. It was very gray. It was very dark. But I guess it was day shift. So we're having a shift transition, um, which hopefully won't result in hilarity. It's fine. Come on! A little grade, adding a little throttle notch by notch. Just trying not to be too mean to the cars. <laughs> Who are you and what have you done to Heist? It's fine. It'd be an interesting mod to play with, uh, just to see how differently you could operate. But the rear grand diesels actually had a big rheostat that you could blend any notch into any notch by changing a dial. So rather than just having the discrete notches, they also had uh, a power rheostat basically. So you could leave the engine in notch eight all the way open, or notch 10 in this case, and then just dial it down right as you walked up to a signal and smoothly, evenly, without changing any notches, you could slow it down. I don't know why every railroad didn't have that, or why did they didn't just have continue, well, I know why they didn't have continuous loading. It's because train lining throttle valves is a lot simpler than trying to train line a, a, a voltage or something and then figure out what it is. The MU ca cables, they're 21 pin cable between locomotives on diesel locomotives and the there's eight throttle notches but they only have to send four signals to determine which throttle notch you're in. A, B, C, and D valve. And they're called valves because uh, on the mechanically governed, mechanically fuel injected engines like this one, uh, they were actually literal valves. There's the three. Dino's on full. Dump the air. It's fine. Release it. Get out of the dinos. Full throttle. Just play the accordion as hard as you can. Sounding like an oompa band going through this junction right now. Oh God, that is a long train. Alright. Yeah, where is the end of it? It's over there somewhere. Oh, it's right there. There it be. No, it's that one. They keep hiding behind the bushes, those cars. All right, that's no more throttle because we're going downhill. Yeah, uh, the combinations of those valves tells you what notch you're in. I don't remember which which set of which is which, but you, you pick up any two and that gets you your notches. Which makes a lot of sense. So you, you just send a binary signal down the MU saying, hey, A valve is on and so is C valve. Okay. And then all the locomotives know to load to the same amount. So I don't actually know if the rear grand engines that had the big rheostat, I don't know if they actually, I don't think they trained line that. It might have, must have just been on the lead engine. Which if you're running tonnage on the mountain or something, I mean, one engine bogging down is going to be enough, right? So... Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Bringing the dynamics up. Going through the, we're going through the squiggle. Squiggly. Line piece. Line piece. Remember when college humor was good? It's been such a long time. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> This is quite the squiggle through here. And allegedly we could be doing 50, but a lot of the trains in 30s still, so. 
we'll just kind of keep it rolling. And it kind of flattens out through here, so I'm just going to kick the dinos off, let it literally roll. And here's our yard limit junction sign of much triangleness. All right. And there's the food factory. It's a factory that makes food. <laughs> We're probably lined into the sea yard, right? Probably. When was the last time we were at the food factory? I don't know. I just don't, I just don't know. Hopefully delivering these jobs. We got 140 grand basically. I don't think we're gonna get to the point that we can pay off our debt. Not this episode. Oh goodness, well hopefully we're lined in. Yep, all right, there we are. Uh, C6 and C4 is in the middle. So uh, C6 is to the right, so we will line ourselves to the right. To the right into the C6. All right, and we'll just let it roll now. We'll go find the gap between cars. Oh goodness. We have to see what job it is. At this speed, at this lighting? 16? 16? 16? 73. All right, this guy. All that. Hopefully we grab the right car. Almost all the way on. Alright, I'm gonna pop it. Bye. Bye, train. Okay, that's there. We're gonna let that just roll. Where's the, the station in this place? It's over there. It's inconvenient. Okay, and then so we need to get this next cut of cards into the four, so we're just gonna let we're just gonna let the train roll, because that's a big hill on the other side up there. We're just gonna let it valley and come back. I will have no regrets by doing the switching method, I'm sure. Hopefully the momentum doesn't carry it to some horrendous downhill that we have no hope of ever bringing it back from. Hey look, there's a splody boy. <laughs> the, the boys are back. The boys are back. The boys are back. Yeah, gotta do a cover of that. All right, there we go. 55 minutes, come on. Easy money, literally. All right, so we're not in a rush to get the rest of this switching done. Turns out when you split out the giant train episode into the building of the train and the running of the train, that the building of the train is probably longer than the running of the train, even when we've got as many ridiculous stops as we have. Okay, there it is. Now it's rolling back. And it's rolling back at a pretty decent clip. So what we'll do is we'll split it and pop the error uh, right here, so we'll stop the uh, these cars. Uh, put that there, please. So we'll bottle the air on those cars, pop that, and then pop the angle cock. Oh god. Pop the hose. Pew. There we go. And so those guys are now just officially kicked. We can close that. Okay, and then that's the switch that lines us one way versus the other. And then we dump this. It's going so fast that it'll be fine. And now we just stick these cars in. 
and then hope that uh, hope that those cars stop before too much madness. So we can hope. All right. Bring him back. Plenty of speed. It looks like they didn't stop too stupid far in. That should be fine. And then we don't want to be going this fast to make this hook. Well, it's not making a hook. We don't want to bang into the sad gas at 20 kilometers an hour. Alright, that's probably pretty good. Tie the brake. And now we'll just go run over, turn in the last two jobs, see where we're sitting for the dollary dues. Can we pay back Mr. John Doe? It's a new year. <laughs> I don't remember what our exact date to pay is. Let's see. Alright. Good. Dollary dues. Good. Accepted all of it. Alright. We have $280,000. That's a good amount of money. Uh, and only 100,000 more to go! <laughs> 104,000 more to go. Uh, we will eventually... We'll eventually get there. We can, uh, we can pay for that ruined locomotive, though. That locomotive that presumably blew up. It's fine. And then something in the 50 grand range. A tender that's been ruined. There you go. Well, 108,000 to go. <laughs> well, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, the slug. It wasn't a true, true, true test of the DE6 slug combo because it was just kind of two DE6s plus the slug, but I think we probably did need it. Uh, it definitely made me l worry less about the, the rear engine set. That's for sure. Silly, silly super easy. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's a lot of fun, and we love playing at Deer Roll Valley. Anyways, uh, love to know what you guys like to see next time. Anyway, we'll catch you all next time. Take it easy. Happy New Year. We'll see you next week.